Hello, we're here at the Tokyo Edo Museum, and I am delighted to welcome you to our talk on proxemics and social interactions in an instrumented virtual reality workshop. This is work that I did with my colleagues Jay, Vino, Iman, and Pablo at the University of Glasgow, BBC, and CWI. When we first started this work, we wanted to understand a little bit more about how an academic workshop could unfold in a virtual environment. And we used Hubs, Mozilla Hubs, where I'm speaking to you from today, to actually create our workshop and deliver this event. We wanted to understand how the environment design, the virtual reality affordances, and the kind of design of the program could work to deliver this event. One of the interesting things about Mozilla Hubs is that because it's open source, we can actually instrument this with logging code to get a very high level of detailed tracking and instrumentation within the environment to do a quantitative analysis. We combined this with a qualitative analysis through uh, interviews after the event to understand how the event worked and how the virtual environment worked as well. Using this data set, we were able to create a number of different visualizations, which you can see in the paper. But for example, this one, where we looked at Hall's proxemic zones, you can kind of see how we could evaluate how people maintained personal distance and how they stood uh, next to each other in different parts of the event. So for example, here, comparing the keynote session to the breakout room, we can actually see a real difference in how people maintained their distance in the personal space and social space in these two different types of social activities. We could also generate visualizations like this one, where we see a heat map and a bird's eye view of the outdoor meetup space. And we can see things like how people use different parts of the space. So for example, this kind of uh, pattern on the floor, which was a decal in the virtual environment here, which actually people avoided while they were walking around in the virtual space. And we can see how the design of the virtual environment actually changed the way how people moved through it and used the space. We had a few key takeaways that I wanted to highlight during this talk, uh, but you can of course read the full analysis in our paper. But first I wanted to highlight that proxemic interactions are congruent with those in physical environments, but VEs are actually not constrained by physics. So even though we could think about Hall's proxemic zones quantitatively, we also found a new dimension, for example, flying in the virtual environment, where we can actually have new ways of creating personal space in a virtual environment that aren't possible in the physical. We also wanted to highlight that our instrumented approach can provide insights into the effect of environment textures, shapes, and design. So we drew some inspiration from things like urban theory and urban space design, um, but we could also think about more creative ways of designing virtual environments uh, with changing environments or automatically generating environments based on these quantitative results. And finally, that quantitative data can answer interesting questions on social behaviors, such as group formation, social translucence, and social cues. We were able to understand how some of these behaviors uh, could be captured in a virtual environment and understood uh, quantitatively to then have qualitative improvements in social interaction. One of the most exciting contributions as well is that all of the code uh, data and the scripts that we use to analyze our results are available as an open source uh, resource on uh, GitHub. So you can see our code, our data, and all of how the visualizations were generated for this paper in that repository as part of this paper. Uh, and that's available in the digital library and on GitHub. So thank you very much for your time, and we are very happy to take questions. And of course, you can always contact us after this talk if you have additional questions. You can also find all of our open source uh, resources here at our GitHub. Thank you. Amazing, and four minutes and 45 seconds. Perfect. Very oh, well snap. done. Brilliant. <laughs>